In 2017, Princess Cruises hired me to shoot still images and videos on the Silk Road journey, a 49-day cruise from Rome to Shanghai. I brought along my buddy Yuri as an assistant and a music composer for the project. I tried daily vlogging at the time, but our days were already super packed and I had to edit and deliver content for the client as a priority. We shot with Michelin chefs, met an NBA player, and traveled to 15 countries. What I want to do now is take a look at the footage and share with you the process of what it is to shoot and produce content on a cruise ship, with its limitations and being in a bubble for two months. to the train station here after a lot of troubles getting out of the shipyard and now we're trying to get some money but there's no English version here so a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a communication problem today day 44 and we are in Tokyo it's actually my second time in Tokyo and my first visit was a four-hour layover back in 2013 and this time I'm here for a little bit longer for 12 hours First, let's try to figure out how to get out of this port and into the city. Tokyo's metro system takes a minute to understand if you've never been before. And the rush hour is kind of making things kind of crazy and hectic, but we eventually managed to figure out which train to get on. We, we go through here? I really enjoy taking public transportation when I travel as you really get a feel for the day-to-day -day, uh, life of a place. Especially fun during rush hour when you see how people interact. It's 9.30, we've been out two hours and we're finally in the metro in Tokyo. So the plan for us was to make it downtown, grab breakfast, and kind of plan out our day to see how we can get our shots for the client, uh, meet up with a friend of a friend uh, that was in town, and then obviously take in as much Japanese culture and food as we could. One of my favorite things in Japan has to be their convenience stores. And especially these little triangle sandwiches, which are probably some of the most delicious sandwiches I have ever tasted. After breakfast, we walked around some of the city sites, saw some Tori structures, some sake barrels, and some pretty cool parks. After walking for a while, we got a little hungry. I freaking love this place. Time for lunch. It's a whole different way of ordering food here.
So we took a little break to get some food. We met up with uh, our friend, and I got a Japanese curry, and you really got some soup. It's actually not soup, it's uh, ramen. Sorry about that. Bon this is exactly what I wanted. Japanese curry, a little bit of spice. Got some seaweed action here. Thank you. That was awesome. That was really awesome. Always interesting to check out some local stores, get that local culture, you know. Coming to Tokyo, I knew I had to come check out the Shibuya crossing. According to Wikipedia, it has about 2,500 pedestrians crossing at a single time, at a single light, probably in peak hour. And it's super hectic, crazy. You got a lot of tourists walking around, taking photos, businessmen and businesswomen trying to get to work, and it's just chaos, but in a kind of organized Japanese way. Very touristy, but definitely worth checking out on a Tokyo visit. We set out to meet our good friend Remy's cousin who's been living in Tokyo for a few years. I don't know where we are. Still trying to figure out that whole Tokyo metro system at this point. I finally found where we're going. I think Tokyo has a few different metros, metro lines because we couldn't find this. Tokyo baby! <laughs> Someone just farted in the metro. Thank you. This place is cool. We were out of it, and all the coffee in the world could not help us on that day. Said <laughs> Tokyo Express, baby. <laughs> Uh, we've been out of it the whole day. Just had like two coffees and nothing's working. Long, long day. But we need to, we need to get, we need to salvage this and do a temple and just do something before we get the, head back to the ship. We did find a nice temple complex, super calm and serene to get awesome client shots and kind of regroup and calm ourselves down after the morning rush.
After the temple, we stopped in a convenience store to pick up a few essentials, and that was an extremely interesting experience. This place is so entertaining. There's like mini speakers next to certain products. Oh, this one right here. Look at that. Like a mini ad over here. There's like, there's like 15,000 songs going on at once here. What's that? What This is only the beginning. At this point, our batteries were running super low and there was only one way to fix this. We needed a drink. So we stopped at a little izakaya for a snack and a pint. Up a notch, so, uh, local beer. Okay, we might have had more than a drink. All right, we're getting this uh, party started again. Quick beer and sake. A little bit of uh, sweet food here. It's good. Excellent. Shit, I think Yuri just ordered some Nika whiskey, so we're about to get a little drunk. Yeah, two black Nika and a little glass of water. Yep, he did. Alright, this guy just ordered two Nika black. <laughs> He's in party mode. J'ai commandé un plat, j'ai vu Shashimaki, je savais pas ce que ça voulait dire. Feeling real good right now. Right now, real good. That was fun. Let's get out of here. <laughs> no day trip to Tokyo is complete without checking out their awesome arcades. Arcade, baby. That was clearly rigged. I love this country. At this point, we were losing daylight and time was running out before we had to go back. So we were walking through the streets of Tokyo, checking out the city center and figured we have time to grab one more meal before making our way back to the ship. So we found this local restaurant for one more traditional Japanese meal.
Tokyo has the most amount of neon signs I've ever seen in any city. It is ridiculous. Signs all over the place. It's super photogenic and we were walking around getting shots and some places wouldn't let us in. After a long day in Tokyo, it was time to head back to the shipyard, and the journey was pretty long. So first off, taxi number one. <laughs> then, long metro ride during evening rush hour, no big deal. Oh, look at that, everyone's on their cell phones here as well. We were pretty exhausted at this point, but thankfully, we did not pass out like these guys. And let's be honest though, that could have been us. The next station is Shinbashi. Shinagawa. It might come to as a complete surprise, but we were once again running against the clock, and the last bus the ship terminal left at 8.30 p.m. Spoiler alert, we missed it. So therefore, taxi number two. So this ends a very long day in Tokyo. I had a great time looking over the footage and putting this together, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next one is coming out. Also, come check out my Instagram where I posted a photo a day during the whole trip and where I still share my travel and food photography today. As usual, I'll see you on the next one.